Back in, in the early 2000s, the government rule was in order for a kid to go to school, they had to have a, a birth certificate or they had to have a Catholic baptism certificate. The kids in the slums, in the poor barrios, they didn't have either. From there, the whole idea uh, kind of evolved into, wow, we really need to put together a school, do something to help these kids. Their parents are working in sweatshop labor. They're left in the community to fend for themselves all day long. Hopefully their parents will get home with a meal for them. They're not being educated at all. It's just gonna continue the cycle of poverty because these kids will grow up with no education and no opportunity. We decided, okay, let's see what we can do. We started a class for these kids, provided a meal for them, we provided uniforms for them. And that's how Tier School started. La vida actualmente está exigiendo personas graduadas, personas preparadas. Tú sabes, es un papel fundamental también para la comunidad. Hay que romper con, con ese mito de que esta comunidad, todo el mundo se queda rezagado en la casa. Entonces el centro ha roto gracias a Dios. We want kids to, to graduate uh, and excel, but more than that, we want kids to graduate with a, a relationship with the Lord that they can defend, um, that have a solid worldview that can offer contributions to humanity in general, uh, that God will be glorified in their lives. And so that's where we focus that on education. Other fruits of that same root are that people, their lives and their lifestyles improve because of uh, their educational levels. And the reality that we're facing now is we just don't have space to expand any further. It's one of the communities with the risk in La Vega. The risk of that the young people fall in vicio, that they simply stand on the streets without employment. So, from that situation, the need to start with a school secondary school. Because we observed in the past that the children who came out here in the 8th Muchos de ellos no iban a secundaria y mucho menos a la universidad. A, algunas de las jóvenes quedaban embarazadas y, y ya, ahí se terminaba todo. Entonces sentíamos que teníamos que hacer algo más. We're looking to build Tears High School uh, for these students. El tiempo de nosotros es corto, porque en agosto nosotros debemos tener 150 jóvenes ubicados en el nuevo edificio. Y todavía no hemos comenzado, pero creemos que Dios va a proveer los fondos para comenzar. Entonces, el centro quiere romper con esa cultura de la comunidad, que la estudiante, que el estudiante llegue a la universidad, se prepare y sea un ente positivo para la comunidad y también para el país. Y algo muy importante del centro es que Dios ante todo, ¿sabe? Entonces, tenemos que seguir con esta obra que es de Dios y necesitamos su apoyo. We need your help now. Together, we can be agents of love and change. Your sacrifice will impact the youth of this community, not just today, but for generations to come. Join us in breaking the cycle of hopelessness and let them learn.